<laughs> Welcome friends to our channel where we search the world over looking for unique and interesting products and gifts. I'm Alex. I'm Liz. Together we are Alex and Liz. Today, top five things to look for in a baby jumper. And we have two baby jumpers here. We got this one for our first child who's now two years old. And it's nice to have two because we keep one outside and we keep one inside. So we're basically going to base this review on this is this jumper here is called the Baby Einstein, and it's eighty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents on with, Amazon. On yeah. Amazon, mm -hmm. um, and this was voted the number one baby jumper in the two thousand eighteen Best Reviews Guide. Mm -hmm. and, and a nine point seven. Nine point seven out of, out of 10. ten rating. Yeah. So, number one here, folks. We're not messing <laughs> around. Um, let's get into features. We'll kind of get into features of. Both, both or, yep, but, basic, but mostly kind mostly of focusing basic. on this one. Yep. So. so start us off. So this one has um, four adjustable heights, um, and they're pretty easy to change. Um, it's just by this knob here that you go up or down, and so that adjusts for the growing baby. This is the um, lowest lowest height yep, right now. This is the lowest, and yeah, you really want their feet to be like flat. You don't yeah. want them to be on their tiptoe. Our five month old barely touches the ground. He actually right is now. touching pretty good now, yeah. yeah. So. Um, and then it has a rotating seat. So As does this one? Yep, both have rotating seats. This one has a little bit more support um, and cushion around mm -hmm. the seat. This one, it's just a liner. Yep. So this one has, you know, actually has the cushion support. We kind of noticed when we put our, I think he was about four months when we started putting him in here that when we put him in here, he'd kind of fall all over the place. And this yeah. one offered a little more support right. to keep him upright and keep him comfortable. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's fine if you put like a blanket or something yeah, so, around yep. to support it a little bit better, but it yep. does need a little something. Yep. Um, they both have music. Um, <laughs> that was driving crazy almost. And um, you can adjust the volume and stuff like that on both of them. Mm -hmm. And then, um, all sorts of toys, different things that they can play with. I actually prefer the toys on this one versus this one's a little bit boring to me. I, I kind of prefer the toys should up here. Should we put him in there and see how he likes both of them? Yeah, they should make these for adults. <laughs> um, lights, I mean, yeah, the both music of them lights light up, up with the music. Um, yep. Lots of different things that they can do, and you can, you know, add things to it. There's Mm -hmm. On this one specifically, there's different loops up here, so you can add more toys, take away toys. Yep. Um, I've always kind of wondered what what is this open compartment here for? I mean, is that for I snacks think maybe? That's when they what get to I that would age? think. Be sure. putting, or to set a toy on, but then sure. they drop it off. I don't know. Yeah. Um, both of the seat liners are machine. Mis, bleh, if I could talk, machine washable. That's um, nice. So that yeah, that is nice. Spit um, up every other day. <laughs> you know? cool. Yeah. Um, so the top things that we thought, top five things to look for in a baby jumper. Here yep, it is. Here it is. So we said you want it to be height adjustable and they both are. Yep. And so kind of, I guess we'll kind of go in maybe, you know, this one is more of like a bungee yep. kind of jump. This one just has a platform. So they don't really jump. A, yeah. It would take, you know, a, a bigger baby, you know, like mm -hmm. once they get a little bit older to really understand that concept. Yep. Um, whereas this one. I wouldn't consider this one a true jumper, but yeah, our son get really gets going. And that's that. that's why we bought this one the second time around yep. because our first son really liked this at daycare, and so mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, but height adjustable is the biggest thing. Um, safety, obviously, yeah, is a big thing too. I'd say that's the biggest yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, I as I say as I'm saying that. So with this one. I, some of the reviews, um, and we've noticed this too, our, with our five-month-old in here, if he turns in the seat, sometimes his arms will get stuck mm -hmm. um, on some of the different toys here. And I haven't noticed that with this one. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. That's just kind of I know a concern. This, to this specific toy right here kind of sticks. And it, I mean, it's not you, sharp. If he but turns it, around, yeah. it kind of hits him in Eye the level, face. Just, yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm sure you can't we can. really adjust them that much, but maybe if we yeah. turn, I don't know. Um, the other thing, you want it to be sturdy, obviously. Now, this one is a pretty heavy duty. Very sturdy, very yeah, sturdy. Yeah, this one is 
Definitely. This our two year old bit... our two year old still hops in this and jumps around. So yeah. It's, it's sturdy. It's definitely sturdy. This and it says it holds up to twenty five pounds, which our two year old is more than that. And it Yeah. It's holding up. He's thirty plus, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah. So this one definitely is more lightweight, um, more portable. Yeah. We're gonna get into that. Yep. You want it to be interactive. I mean, obviously, they you want them to are. be entertained. Yep. And yes, both of them, we've said. Ultimately, you know, they get in, and they're going to get bored of the toys. It's just a kind of a place to watch, you know, their surroundings. Yeah. And, you know, watch what you're doing or whatever. So They're not held all the time, and they yeah. can do, can yeah. do their own thing. Um, this is then, big for me, this last one here. Yep. So number five, we said we wanted, you know, you want something portable, um, which is kind of the downfall of this one. Now, we, we keep this one inside, like we said, and to be able to move this one if from like the kitchen to the living room for us to get through a doorway you kind of have to maneuver it a little bit um and it's heavy i mean fairly heavy to move so he just took that one apart in very, 30 seconds very and portable if you want to take it on trips I yeah mean, that could so fit we, anywhere when we've gone you know places on trips and stuff like he's talking about we would take this lightweight one mm -hmm. um and it, it collapses easily and that's a big pro to me. I mean, I really love having two, just keeping one outside. Yeah. If we had to lug this thing outside all the time, it wouldn't be Yeah. It wouldn't be fun. But we do, I mean, overall, we, we would probably recommend oh, yeah. this one over that one just because, you know, it's built very nice and, well, it is rated number one. Mm -hmm. And it's called um, Baby Einstein. I mean, how can you go <laughs> wrong with that? <laughs> right. So, yeah, top five things. That's what we, that's in our opinion, what we yep, think. From our and, experience. Yep. So we'll have a link below where you can get um, this one. You know, I honestly don't know if they make this one anymore. Yeah, you were I looking for it. I tried researching for it, and I couldn't find this brand. It's o Obel, I guess. Yeah, you couldn't find it I couldn't Amazon find it anywhere, anywhere, but they have ones very similar to that. Um, I'll include both of them. I'll find one similar to that and include it. But um, Subscribe. Otherwise... Subscribe to us. Send us those interesting, unique. We're starting to get those products coming in. Yeah. So keep them coming, and we'll give you an honest <laughs> review. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. Baby Einstein, number yeah. one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.